Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we have to talk about it. The stock market, ladies and gentlemen. You know what you should be doing when the stock prices go down. Some people say buy the dip. Over the last 12 years, buy the dip has worked because the stock market indexes keep going up. There's not going to be a change, so therefore we have to adjust our portfolio. So we're going to talk about some stocks that we should be buying because of the dip. And welcome. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. I want to thank you so much for being here on the Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel page. And I always have to point out the join button over here on the right hand side. That's how you become a member of the channel. And you receive special messages under the community tab specifically for you as a member. And you receive the link to the live streams where you can join me on the live stream. And you receive special messages from me as well as videos specifically for you everybody else receives messages on the community tab that's open to everybody but again please everyone here please share the videos this helps out millions of other people potentially or that one other person because remember rising tide lifts all boats ladies and gentlemen we need everybody to succeed in one way or another so let's get into it today because we're back to the stock market investing just like we like to do because there has been a dip so we have to go to the paper trading we have to go to the stop struggling now portfolio and you can see like I always say we can't win them all no matter what the investors no matter what the gamblers say when they come out of a casino they act like they win all the time none of you can win 100 percent of the time because then let's just face facts it would be way too easy and we wouldn't have to be fighting uphill battles in the financial world. All right, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see our portfolio here on the screen and look at all the green. Of course, the green is up top, but here's what I'm most proud of. We started this in June, not last year when the market crashed in 2020 to make it easy for everybody where anything you pretty much invested in pretty much went up. We started, this was in the end of June, just a few days before July, so it's only been less than five months. Now, in five months, we used 88, 87,000 into the portfolio. We have, as you can see on the screen, $11,000 upside from the 88. Does that mean more than 10% in half a year? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's not bad, is it? Well, since the stock market has dipped, what are we supposed to do? Buy more of the stocks that you believe in. So let's talk about the stocks you may believe in. Remember when I was talking about Facebook, they changed their name to Meta? Sure, a few days ago would have been a good time to buy, but look here at the bottom of our portfolio look how negative this is we entered at a higher number three hundred and seventy two dollars so you should be buying the dip and this changes your dollar cost average down so that makes it less so we want to buy some more shares and i'm just going to keep it simple because it's after hours i believe it is anyhow i think it is and it looks like i can't do after hours but it's okay what we're going to do is we're going to buy 10 like we always do generally, but we're going to buy some more. So our dollar cost average will be lower. 
And again, remember, Facebook changed its name to Meta. Why? Because of the Meta Universe. So that gives you an idea right there that you should start looking for Metaverse stocks, Metaverse crypto. Those two are going to go hand in hand. All right. So if you want to know one, META is now Facebook. It still has the FB on here. But let's see what else we can look into. Because next up on our list, also in the negative, on our portfolio, NEO. We entered at $49, as you can see on the list here. We need to buy some more so our dollar cost average can go down. In case you're not familiar with the Webull uh, app, please get your free stocks from Webull down below if you haven't already. And also, if you're into crypto, there's a link down below that gets you free $5 a Shiba if you want to sign up for the cryptocurrency side. So that's what we do here at Webull. And also, if you want some other free shares of stock, down below is a link for Robinhood. They also give you free shares of stock. So there's two ways you can get free shares of stock. And speaking of the crypto and Shiba, you can also get your free $10 of Bitcoin from Coinbase if you use my link down below in the description as well. So Neo's up next. And now let's see what else is at the bottom here. Charge, point, blink. Those are EV plays, ladies and gentlemen. That's the future. And we purchased these at a higher cost. So now our dollar cost average is going to come down. It's at 34. And look here, it's all the way down to 2098 on the screen. That's a big difference. So we're about to bring this down half of what we purchased it for. So that means now our dollar cost average, instead of being $30, it's going to be somewhere like mid-20s. A lot better, don't you think? So now if it rises above 26 versus over 30, we will be in the winner's column. And I suspect that will happen. And again, charge point. This is a company that charges electric vehicles, EV, that works with Tesla mainly, but they have a network across the United States and around the world. So expect big things from them. And we'll keep going and I'm not going to make this video too long I just wanted to to get an idea of dollar cost averaging it's very powerful this is how you can stay ahead sometimes of the market by lowering how much your investment really is and so again next up is blink B L N K for everybody on podcast I want to thank you for listening all right so B L N K look at here we entered at 42 now it's 34 so another 10 at 34 that would be half of that, so that'd make it 38 instead of 42. So we'll be in the profit picture if it goes back up to 38, which it appears after hours, it's not up to almost 35. So we'll be around 38 or 39, but that's a lot better than being at 42 or 43, right? So again, this is very simple. You just hit market, put in the quantity uh, that you want, which is only 10 because this is just a demonstration and uh, good until the end of the day and therefore that's all there is to it very simple ladies and gentlemen so once again you can see it on the screen these are some stocks to consider especially other stocks depending on your portfolio you might want to consider and on our portfolio there's Pelletier that's here that probably needs to have a little bit of attention as well because it's 26 and now it's 19 so in fact I don't have it on the screen but this is a uh, we got to do this as well we can't uh, let that sit there at that rate might as well buy it Pelletier uh, is a good company as far as I'm concerned let me know what you guys think so our dollar cost average is going to be a lot better than our previous positions in this L column and of course you see these L's now keep in mind there's all of this in the red some a lot more than others but now they're going to be reduced because our dollar cost average is going to be less but the thing is my point is always you win you try to win the most and as long as you can see here where we have 
10,971. Remember, there's after hours. We Bull, it's uh, available till 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, whereas Robin Hood is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So remember that as well when you're doing after hour trades. And just because you didn't see it come up on this uh, transactions I was doing, there is a link for after hours trade if you were real, using uh, real money on here. But anyhow, this just gives you an idea of what's going on in the market and some stocks that we have chosen here, SSN Nation. Again, let me know what you guys think. I would be anxiously awaiting because nobody knows what's gonna happen to the markets. And I was wrong about the Federal Reserve actually increasing interest rates. I am shocked. That just means you, us, the OCs who are in the middle class, it's gonna be a very, very bumpy ride when this balloon burst, because they are keeping it going. But that means also we could be making money right along with them. So don't give up yet, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why we have to stay diligent. Just because some things go down, you have to counteract. Everything can be counteracted. So therefore, again, I'll repeat, we've been talking about dollar cost average down in this case. I just changed the numbers instead of being, I don't look at the percentages, but let's just say 50% down, now it'll be 25% down. Or if it was 20% down, now it'll be 10% down. We just changed the equation. So therefore, just a little movement up, we will be back in the green. And that's where you want to try to position yourself. That's why you always need a little bit of extra cash sitting on the sidelines in case you have to re-diversify, rebalance your accounts. All right? That's what we do. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.